I used to have Joe Rogan on all the time. Joe is uh, angry with me. He has a problem with me, and I know why. Why exactly do Howard Stern and Joe Rogan hate each other? It's a feud that's lasted over 20 years and includes multiple different reasons, only made crazier by the fact that they used to be pretty good friends. This could be seen during Joe's very first appearance on Howard Stern, where in September 2000, Howard began by praising one of Joe's comedy segments. Uh, one of the uh, best bits we've played on the radio in a long time is a bit by Joe Rogan who stopped by today and I want to play it for you right now. Here's Joe Rogan's bit. After playing the lengthy segment, Howard and Joe talked about how much they liked each other. A great bit. A great comedian, Joe Rogan. Good to meet you, Joe. Finally have you on the show. What's happening, man? How you doing? This is an honor. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an honor <laughs> to meet you. After which Joe Rogan became a regular guest on the show until the first incident of February 2002. Howard and Joe's friendship had strengthened in the 18 months prior, so much that they'd spent time together outside of the show. On the 6th of February 2002, the pair flew to Vegas where they'd end their evening at a strip club. In a state of intoxication, Joe made some jokes slash comments about the girls there, done so in a private setting between friends. Although when they'd record a Stern Show episode the very next day, Howard tried to publicly call Joe a misogynist by airing his comments from the night before. And then we went over to Club Paradise. Joe Rogan, you see you try to act like you're above the strip club. Oh, oh come on. Talking about? Too, I'm like trying to act I'm above it. You should see this guy's nose. I'm trying to act like I'm above it. Well, I mean, you're above it. Oh, these girls, they don't like me. They're not. What are you talking about? Yeah. No such thing. He goes, oh, these whores, this and the other. We want to love these girls. I don't say it that way. You know how it's mixed I think you're angry with women. This was obviously a bit embarrassing, but Joe didn't seem all that concerned. It was the early 2000s, and controversial moments were an expectation on Howard Stern's show. Only, as time progressed, Howard refused to let the moment die and would push the same narrative in a later episode when Joe wasn't there. Joe hates women. Yeah, Joe, Joe's weird. Like, yeah, I, definitely I go to, has a difficult time. I've gone to strip clubs with him and he's like, get out of here, you whore. In the meantime, Howard tried to manufacture even more embarrassment by inviting a girl Joe had been with in the past to sabotage his reputation further. He was my first one night stand. You're kidding. And, it wasn't really a one night um, stand. It was like uh, a trailer. By the way, you were Joe's 350th one night stand. <laughs> uh, that, that's <laughs> fine. I learned a lot Where from Joe. Where did you meet Joe? You learned a lot from him? Yeah. That's sweet. So what did you learn that, from Joe? Well, well, after that wonderful one night stand, I got pregnant and I. What? Yeah. What? Uh, what? Joe, what? You, you, you knocked her out? Are you kidding me? You know no, okay, but the, the other How old's your son? I never kept it. Thank you, Jesus! Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Joe played the awkward moment off like it was no big deal. However, this was much harder after Howard then invited Joe's actual ex-girlfriend onto the show. Well, how did he hurt you? Did he cheat on you? <laughs> he did. Yeah. Joe, oh, what is your gosh. problem? <laughs> did you think you had an exclusive relationship with him at the time? This when is on the radio for the world. <laughs> I did. You did. Uh, Joe. Joe. Uh, you're going how did hard you on find the out? Joe, let me ask you. I mean, hey, enough. Why cheat on her? Why not be honest? Uh, you know what? We used to have huge fights and then I would... Yeah, but why the cheating? And having grown tired of being embarrassed publicly, Joe's appearances on The Stern Show became less frequent than non-existent. Noticing the pair's potential fallout, fans took to the Joe Rogan official forums where they'd bring up the original strip club incident before they'd receive clarity from none other than Joe Rogan himself. He'd write, My problem with Howard's version of the story is that it's complete crap. I never said get away whores to anyone. There are a lot of aggressive strippers that were trying to get guys to buy lap dancers. Howard and some of the other guys were getting them and I didn't want one. The girls were pushy and all I kept saying is no thanks. Somehow that turned into getaway whores when he got on the radio. When you've got a guy that you respect and admire and you've done his show a bunch of times you think that you're friends. Then when that guy turns on you and talks badly about you, especially when it's not true, it's a gross feeling. I'm a loyal friend and that stuff means a lot to me. If I had a friend outside of show business and he gave a distorted account of me like that, I would stop hanging around him and I wouldn't trust him anymore. As for Howard, I have no ill feelings. Feelings. I still listen to Stern all the time. I was always a huge fan of the show. I'll probably do Stern again sometime. I just thought that whole situation was really weak and I didn't want to be a part of it. Having confirmed that the two were in fact fighting, Joe was asked about the feud in various radio appearances. The alleged feud with Howard Stern and Joe Rogan here. Howard has nothing but 
a good thing to say, and he was always wondering why he don't do his show anymore. At which point he'd elaborate further. Howard said, you know, Joe hates women. And I listened to that, and I was like, that's not true. Like, And I and I, I was like, you know, what do I do? Do I go on and defend myself? That, and then it's it, you get into that weird cycle of, you know, like, accusing and defending, and like, I don't like negativity. I All don't right. like, I don't like conflict, you know? There's like a, a whole gotcha mentality over there. No, that's very like, true. However, Joe discussing their feud only added fuel to the fire, as Howard then took to his own show to offer his side of the argument. Speaking of uh, feuds, Joe hasn't appeared on our show, Joe the Comedian. So I told you Joe had some problem with me, so he discussed it with uh, Craig Fitzsimmons. He won't discuss it with us. No, and you know, I remember the exact incident and everything, and I knew this is what is it was. Is this Vegas? Yeah, this uh. is Joe's, you know, this is what Joe said. He said something about me on the air that I didn't like. He said <laughs> I hate women, and I was like, come on, man, really? First of all, I'm going to have to defend that. So then, you know, whenever okay. you're defending something like that, it always yeah. automatically looks like it's you're being paper. defensive. Yeah. I don't even want to be involved. And I said, I just be, I'll just be a fan again. And Joe's right. You know, it's better he doesn't come on because he's building this thing up. I understand what he's saying because if you start dealing with it on the air, then it becomes even bigger. To me, let it go. You know, mm -hmm. come back, come back in, and let's have fun again. Yeah. You know, I like it better this way. <laughs> You know what I mean? It was clear that Joe and Howard weren't exactly best buddies, although to make matters worse, all of this went down six months before Joe had even started his podcast, which only damaged their relationship further. In March 2015, Howard made the claim that podcasts are for losers, prompting Joe's friend Ari Shafir to bring up the topic on episode 623. You're upset with Howard Stern because he said that shit about podcasting. That's the new thing I'm upset with Howard Stern over. It just shows how much he's lost touch. Like, that's not the way you become a radio DJ. Stern, no one wants to become a radio DJ who's doing podcasts. That's not our end goal. Anyone who listens to a podcast and listens to Howard Stern, just so you know, Howard Stern called you a loser for listening to podcasts as well. This gave Howard Stern the chance to respond. Uh, I got taped from uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. He had a comedian on there who was bashing me the other night. He's a 41-year-old comedian I've never heard of, nor has anyone else. Dicking around with some podcast and he's hurt that I said that podcasts are no good. And if you sit in your room and do a podcast, you're pretending to be a broadcaster. Take the podcast and throw it out the window. You're 41 and you're on Joe's podcast and no one knows who you are and no one's gonna hear you this guy it's like a street performer giving advice to paul mccart howard's old he doesn't understand podcasting no i understand it perfectly he goes and by the way everyone who has a podcast howard stern's calling you a loser yeah i stand by that it's exactly what i'm doing however despite ari getting absolutely destroyed it was obvious that joe was trying to avoid drama stern has really good interviews they're really good still like, new ones very good he might have some ideas that i don't agree with like the podcasters are losers but like that guy's the number one radio guy of all time. Which was in turn appreciated by Howard. Joe was nice. He was like, you know, saying, hey, Howard's a great broadcaster. Why don't you listen to what he's saying? You know, Joe, <laughs> Joe was like, are you for real? In a 2019 article titled Howard Stern Says He Has Changed How Much, Stern was asked, do you listen to Joe Rogan's podcast? To which he'd respond by stating, I'm a fan of Joe Rogan. I've never watched the entire podcast, but there's tons of clips of him, and he does a really good job, showing that perhaps they'd resurrected their friendship. Although the very next question was, is there an issue between you guys, to which Howard stated, yeah, there is. I was a fan of Joe's comedy. I was a big proponent of his before he was a host on TV, before he got into MMA fighting or whatever. Joe was a guest one time and I said something to him off air, which I won't go into, but he took offense. I haven't heard or seen him since. I think he made the decision that I was toxic for him, but I hold no grudge, showing that there might've been another private incident between them, as was also suggested by this clip. I said something to him in private and he was insulted by what I said. I don't even know if he has dislike or something from me. I don't know, but uh, no, I, I won't be having him on, but that's not my idea. That's his. Despite this, the interviewer then asked Howard, has he invited you on his show to which he'd state, he hasn't. I'm not opposed to it. I've asked him to come on my show, but he doesn't want to. And I respect that it's not meant to be, which only became more ingrained in the very next year of 2020. Joe began the year by once again praising Howard Stern. Whatever anybody wants to say about Howard Stern, he opened the door for podcasts for sure. All these outrageous people doing podcasts, he made the roadmap. However, as the pandemic made everything about politics, it became apparent that Howard and Joe held completely different opinions. While Howard Stern was vigorously pro-vaccine, Joe made it clear that he'd rather use alternate medicine, leading Howard to resuscitate their very public feud. Like I heard Joe Rogan was saying, he he, he says, what do you, what do you bust a my I've got I COVID, a, yeah, he goes, I took a horse, horse dewormer, yeah. And a doctor gave it to me. Well, a doctor would also give you a vaccine, so what? <laughs> 
Why, why, why take horse dewormer? Joe provided no response to Howard's comments and instead continued to host the podcast as he'd done so previously. Showing no interest in changing his stance, Joe was then pressured by the public to alter his behavior or explain his actions eventually leading to this video. I'm just a person who sits down and talks to people and has conversations with them. Do I get things wrong? Absolutely, I get things wrong. Although it seemed Howard Stern wasn't satisfied with Joe Rogan's response. The whole thing with Joe Rogan is so silly to me, Stern told listeners on Tuesday. Even the apology, he just should have said, you know what, listen, I'm a comedian and I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no medical background whatsoever to be telling people what to do with their health, Stern continued. He should issue an apology saying, I'm wrong and go and get the vaccine before you die. Although Joe maintained his refusal to argue and instead continued to praise what Howard had done for radio. People to this day, they make fun of Howard Stern because of who he is now and th the way he behaves now. That guy's the man. When he was the king of all media, the and uh, now he's woke. It's Miami. crazy. Roughly two months later, Joe was once again asked the following. What do you think of what Howard's become recently? Well, He's I the mean, only person I know who's gone, other than Penn maybe, who's gone from being red-pilled to blue-pilled. Yeah. Although the conversation went elsewhere before Joe would give an answer, prolonging the feud until the two media legends clash again in the future.